Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Guillermo Auto. I'm doing rear brakes on a 07 Toyota Sienna. This could also be used for a 2005 to 2008. They're not too bad. Let's go and get started here. First, you're going to need to take your wheel off. It's a 21 millimeter. So once you get your wheel off, you want to come over here and get the caliper caliper bolts off. They're a 14 millimeter. And uh, go ahead and get this off. Sometimes the it'll spin and it won't it won't come loose all you gotta do is take some pliers and grab right here on the other end and hold on to this nut right here and then you'll be able to get these loose so okay go ahead and got that out go ahead and get this one out all right i'm gonna wiggle this off i'm gonna put it over here so it'll be out of the way and it won't fall on me or anything i'm gonna go ahead and slide these pads out Okay, here's the pads. These are OEM pads. They have OEM shims, so I'm going to reuse those. Um, I'm doing the rotor. I'm taking the rotor off. If you're not, you can skip this part, but if you are taking the rotor off, you're going to need a 17 millimeter, and we're going to get these caliper bracket bolts off. 17. These will be a little bit tighter than the um, caliper bolts. I'll go ahead and get this off. All right. Get my top one out. Go ahead and get my bottom one out too. Okay, now I'm gonna remove this caliper bracket, set it aside, and then um, to get the rotor off, your rotor might not come off easy. Uh, the e-brake inside might be holding it in. What you could do is you could run a regular bolt down the threads that are on the on the face of the rotor. You can see if this will get it off. Just run it down a little bit and see if it pops the rotor off. This one's not because the e-brake is too tight, so I'm gonna have to uh, back off the e-brake to get it off. Uh, you just pop this little grommet out right here. You have a flathead that'll fit in there. And you're going to want to push the star adjuster. Uh, move this to get to the star adjuster. I'll show you a picture of the star adjuster, what I'm going for. And uh, you're going to want to just adjust it off. You see it's right in there. It's a little, it's a little star looking thing. Here's a picture of it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust it like this. You should have in, like this type of motion with the flathead going up with it. So you're pushing the star adjuster kind of down and that'll, that'll suck in the e -brake pads a little bit to make this easier to take off. Just remember to adjust it back out. And then I'll put this back down and it'll pop out. All right, now I'm able to get this off. It's still a little tight, but it came off. And yours might come off real easy, hopefully. Uh, next, I'm going to take a little fine grit sandpaper and clean up my e-brake pads. Get all the dust clumps off of them and make, make sure they're just a little smoother. So my uh, rotor will, will go back on and it'll also just uh, rotate more freely and have a better grip. Okay, I got them all cleaned up. I'm just going to spray them off a little bit with a brake cleaner. Get all the dust out of there. You don't have to do this. This is optional. I just do this every time because I'm not usually in that area. I got my rotor cutting on the machine. And uh, while I got that cutting, I'm gonna clean up my caliper bracket here. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub right here a little bit and get the uh, rust and the grime off the dirt. So it should look like that. Uh, this is optional too, you don't have to do this. I do recommend though you lube your pins. You pull these out, put some lube on them and then put them back in, both sides. Here's mine. Here's my brake pad parts number these are oem toyota pads as you notice they don't have the shims on them like the ones that took off i'm going to switch these shims over there and um, notice this one goes to the to the pad with the sensor and this one just goes to the outer pad i put these on i use this stuff called rusty to uh, put it between the shims to kind of keep them together and it also helps with the uh, heat dissipation if you got some um, aftermarket pads, then maybe they already have the shims on them, or maybe you don't need to do all this, hopefully. Um, I lube the uh, ends of the pads, too, with some brake lube. That way, so when they're moving and stuff, uh, they're not going to be less likely to create noise. Uh, I got my rotor machine. I'm going to go ahead and put this caliper bracket back on. All right, so I put it in. It was the 17 millimeter bolts. I got them nice and tight. I'm gonna put my pads in. I put the uh, pad with the sensor on the inside. I compress my piston here with my, uh, I have a little tool to do it. If, if you don't have a tool, try to use like a, an old pad and some giant channel locks to kind of push it shut. Um, put my caliper back on, got my bolts in. Now I'm gonna adjust this back out. It goes this way. 
and then you just want to do it so this barely has like a drag. That's like the best way to do it. Go ahead and put this crown back in. Don't forget this is protected from the weather. And that's it. So hopefully this guy this video helped you guys out. Please like, comment, subscribe. Any additional information in the comments would be, would be great. And I'll see you next video.